glad you decided to join us. We were probably just days away from the authority finding you. But you've heard the expression, out of the frying pan, well, welcome to the fire. Fighting the Authority is all I know. I've been doing it ever since my Ark emerged. I saw what they were doing. Nothing like this was supposed to happen after the asteroid hit. For once, our government had a good plan and good people in place to make it happen. But General Cross changed the timing of only a few Arcs. Arcs filled with his people. That changed the course of humankind. Now, it's our job to make sure it isn't forever. There's Crescent City, or what's left of it. Our base sits right below it. All right, come this way. Our base is just through that door. Sard, Marshal here. Security code 1228. Roger, Captain. Welcome back. I see you have our guest. This way. Welcome to our little home. It's a bit of a mess, but we like it. All right, people. A little introduction of our new guest. You know he's an ARC survivor. He's also pretty tough gets the job done. I know he'll fit in well. In short, trust him. You see that arc, all in pieces over there? It was the one I was buried in. But now Lassard uses it as the brains of our operation. Nice to meet you. Yes, sir. Captain Marshall was buried in that thing. But I've re-rigged the systems, and now I can track most authority movements and communicate with our people around the wasteland. Precisely. And Elizabeth, you know. Good to see you again, and still in one piece. Actually, it's Dr. Cadence, and she's been getting closer to solving the riddle of the Authority's work with the mutants. Every little step brings me closer to the truth. And Jack Borkman, over there, he handles ordnance. If it shoots or explodes, he can help you with it. That's right, friend. It's like my birthday every day around here. Especially when my work helps take out some of the Authority bastards. And lastly, above us, keeping the lid tightly closed on our base of operations, is Saul. He runs the garage in town. He's already got your stuff in a bay. You'll meet him when you go up. Okay, couple things you need to know. Subway town above us? No, oh, this is Wellspring. They walk a fine line, keeping the authority at bay and also dealing with us. You'll have to be careful there. And the town's boss, Redstone. Be extra careful around him. He'd sell you out to the Authority in a heartbeat unless you're abused to him. Blowing stuff up and hitting the Authority where it hurts. That's my game. Now, if you're as good as Elizabeth says you are, then I do believe you and I will get along nicely. I've been working with some authority technology we found, and let me tell you, I think I've come up with something truly impressive. I've found a way to engineer separate authority components together to create an object that, when you activate it, inflicts extra damage, though only for as long as the power supply lasts. The parts are hard to find, but it sure is effective. Here are the plans. I know you'll have fun with it. Decrypting this ID drive is serious business. I need to focus. Decrypting this ID drive. You have to know, the human mutations weren't caused by cosmic radiation from the asteroid hit. 
The mutants were created by the Authority, experimenting with nanotrites and humans. The failures were rejected and discarded into the wasteland like trash left to reproduce and spread. That's the truth. And that's what people need to know. So, give me some time to analyze the data you recovered for us. I might be able to find something that could help you. Stop by later for an update. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is get on Redstone's good side. See if he needs anything, and be of use to him. Otherwise, you're as good as dead. And then, you're useless to us. Think you'll be able to play his game? Good. Remember, get a feel for how things work around here. Be useful to them. Then we can start moving on to the serious stuff. Okay, it's clear for you to go up. You gotta make good with Redstone before we can start going after the Authority. Decrypting this ID drive. team member. Well, welcome to Subway Town. I'm Saul. I run the garage here, but uh, more importantly, I'd drop that car lift if the authorities start snooping around. Uh, but first, a um, couple of things you need to know. Your garage bay is through that door. I'll do all your repairs here and tow you back if you ever get yourself in trouble. You can find the race manager downstairs and bars on this level. And more importantly for you, Redstone's office is upstairs. Remember, Nothing and no one moves around here without his okay. So, don't waste any time. Go and see him. Town? I guess I should say welcome. Subway Town's got everything you need. Looking for a race? Head downstairs. Got extra stuff to sell? Then see Janny upstairs. I think you'll like it here. Stranger, you looking to earn a little on the side? Brick Johnson, the guy that runs the bar, he's been having trouble with bandits stealing his liquor. He needs someone to take care of this problem. You should go see him. If you're looking for supplies, see Janie upstairs. Looking for a race? If so, go talk to Mel downstairs. She'll be able to see you up. 
Redstone may run this town, but he can't stop the street gambling. Keep your eyes open for pickup games. Good if you need a little extra cash. No drinking for anyone, unless Redstone says you're okay. Now move along. When I hear word from Redstone that you're okay, I'll let you. Keep to yourself, stranger. Look around. All of this is Redstone's town. He's the meanest damn mayor in the wasteland. Watch yourself, or you won't last long here. If you haven't seen Redstone yet, go there now. Don't waste any more time. Redstone doesn't like strangers walking around his town without permission. See him in his office upstairs. Don't waste the boss's time. Go see him. Hold it right there. You Marshal's new guy. Okay. You're new. That means that you don't exactly know how things work around here. So let me make it clear to you. This is my place. My town. And every bastard here answers to me. What I want, they do. So if you can help me do things, then we'll be fine. If not, then I have no use for you. Got that? So Marshall says you're the type that can get things done. Let's give you a little test, huh? My foreman is having mutant problems at the end of the Blue Line Tunnel. The things keep crawling back in. So go help him out. Think you can handle this? Good. Just prove yourself useful to me. And then I'll let you stay. Now, show me what you can do. And get the hell out of here. What are you doing? Get your butt down to see Jones. He's waiting for you, damn it. And come back when you've taken care of his problems. Redstone gave you a job. Stop wasting time. Think you can help an old man? My muscle and joints getting old, making it harder and harder for me to walk around these days. But I heard about a plant called Comet Bloom. Heard if I chew it, it'll make the pain go away. Problem is, I ain't got no way of getting it. You think you'll be able to help an old man like myself? Good, good. Word is that it grows way north of here, deep in Gearhead territory. Robert said he saw some of it growing near a small crater. Might be the best place to look. You bring me some of that and I'll make it worth your while. I'm not getting any younger, fella. Find me some comet bloom for the pain. Hmm. Haven't seen you before. A few words of advice. Don't mess with Redstone, and don't do anything to get the authorities' attention. That's trouble you don't want. 
The smart people here keep a low profile. We're all too close to Capital Prime to be starting trouble. Redstone isn't great, but he's better than the Authority. town is that Marshall's back with the new trigger man. Some say an arc survivor and some say that's you. Well, I guess we'll just have to see. Hello there, stranger. I've got the best deck of cards in the wasteland. Care to challenge me? So you Redstone's new tough guy? Care to make a little extra on his side? Damn, bandits causing trouble with my liquor suppliers. Making it difficult to get the good stuff down here. I would pay handsomely if you took to the roads and kill a few of those bandits. You take out an authority predator, and that'll count as two. Can you handle that? Well, alrighty then. Go kick some ass. Jones has his people working, but no other crews. Well, with the mutant problem he's got, there ain't anything else he can do. Yeah, but it still sucks. Until someone takes care of Jones's mutants, all we can do is drink. <laughs> Damn mutants got all new construction around here shut down. Redstone's got to do something about it. Life's never been easy down here. We work hard every day, but between Redstone and the Authority, we barely make enough to survive. Something's gotta change. The people need a reason for hope. Races we run out of this circuit, well, they aren't for the faint of heart. A lot tougher than what you may be used to. <laughs> That's for sure. Haven't seen you before. You new? You feeling the need for speed?
The boss called down, said to expect someone. You must be him. I got a big problem. Damn muties ripping through my work down here. They got this expansion operation just about shut down. My guess is they clawed their way into the Blue Line station. And now, they're busting out all over down here. Someone's gotta stop them. So, it looks like you're the guy for the job. I'm glad you understand. You can get into their cave up on the surface by the canyon wall. Head as deep as you can go and look for the Blue Line station. The Authority has some vehicles, predators they call them, armored to the hilt and loaded with firepower. You see one of them, you run. Welcome to Subway Town. Yeah, we've got our own vibe here. Being so close to Capital Prime keeps everyone on edge, but... We try to relax when we can.
I've got an incredible deal for you. Hello, name's Stu. I often have a surplus of one thing or another, and I'm willing to sell for a fair price. Care to see what I've got? See me often. You'll never know what I'll be selling. Well, hello there, cutie. Please tell me what I can do for you. Name's Janny. I buy, I sell, I try to make a little money. Helps me keep my head above water. I got your basic and primo supplies. You need it, I got it. And if I don't got it, you probably don't need it. <laughs> so, what you looking for? Don't forget to check with me first if you need anything. Bye now. Janny's got decent supplies, but if you're looking for a real good deal, see Stu. He's always got something special for sale. And remember, if you're low on cash, you can always challenge Teague to a game of cards. You can find her in the bar. <laughs> 